screeching halt. Callahan ended Facade Cinderella story. Logan Shulos could be moments away as well. Callahan's dangerous enough to do it. Absolutely. A reputation the world over. But Shulo, a reputation as the best here in IWC. Not surprised about that classless display. Sammy Callahan is a disgusting drag of society. The following singles contest is scheduled for one fall. Your referee in charge of the action at the sound of the bell. Delicious Jimmy DeMarco. And it is for the vacant IWC Super Indy and the IWC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first in the corner to my left, he weighs in at 205 pounds, wrestling out of the last house on the left, New Jersey, the Callahan Death Machine, Sammy Callahan! And his opponent in the corner to my right, he weighs in at 221 pounds, wrestling out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He is your reigning and defending IWC Heavyweight Champion of the World, the Frontman, the Elite Athlete, the Heavy Metal Jesus, Logan Shulo. All those monikers, Frontman, Elite Athlete, Certainly very fitting of Logan Shulo. But Sammy Callahan will just straight up maul you. He doesn't care. Oh! Case in point. The boot and the T-bone from Jump Street. Callahan not getting paid by the hour trying to finish this thing off early. Take two belts in 10 seconds, why wouldn't you? Callahan is incensed. This is the frame of mind he's been in ever since October. Oh. When he lost that Super Indy Championship back to Facade. You know what drives Callahan crazy? That, what, cover again? It drives Callahan crazy that Facade made Callahan tap out. And that makes me think Callahan may be a prime suspect for what happened to Facade back by the exit doors a couple of segments ago. Well, we do know that uh, hey, it looked like he was clutching his leg again. And while... Uh yeah, while uh, while facade, we're assuming it's a knee injury based upon how he was holding the leg. I mean, that whole leg was mangled by Sammy Callahan well, at one point, and, so and it know, can't be 100% anywhere. And we know Callahan attacks legs. Callahan mastered that stretch muffler submission hold. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, Farnsworth, but I believe he won all three of his Super NE 11 matches with that maneuver. I, that, it, I don't know that I can correct you on that, and I would if I could. Oh, you jump at the chance. But Logan Shulo jumping at an opportunity to neutralize oh, Callahan. Oh. And there's that stretch muffler. From Jump Street, Shulo knows to get to a rope quickly or it could be all over before it starts. These two have been going full bore at each other since before the bell. Well, electric chair, Shulo trying to turn Sammy into that power bomb. That's how Shulo wins his matches. Neither's looking for a feeling out stage. Both are just going at this 100%. And so physical. No wasted motion. Callahan with a heat seeking missile on the outside. And notice Callahan had a target, uh, a bullseye on his target. He slipped through the first and second ropes for maximum impact. It was one straight shot. Yeah, man, you're, you're, it was a vertical, a horizontal line. Aiming right at him, not wasting any energy going vertical. And now he's just waiting him out. Callahan went to use that weapon. And Shulo makes him pay for it. I have reason to believe DeMarco's not going to call for disqualification unless he absolutely has to. Yeah, I, you get the idea that uh, with both belts on the line like this, Jimmy DeMarco has probably been told, you give him as much leeway as you can. And not even just that, but think about to the degree DeMarco went to defend his own championship back in the day. How many of his matches just spilled into the crowd, all over the building, blood, violence, and weaponry? Well, I was going to say, Jimmy DeMarco knows a thing or two about leeway and matches, so he probably was giving him a pretty wide berth to begin with. And they just collapsed a steel guardrail with the impact of that shot from Callahan. 
The thing about Sammy Callahan is he. Oh has, no. The thing about Sammy Callahan is he has some very dangerous intentions. He's a, he's he may not be the tallest, but he is he is just this thick squat. Oh go! Oh. Just bam bam looking wrestler, and he gets that mass moving so fast. Those steel poles that that, that, that are throughout that guardrail just dug up into the spine of Shulo. And listen to this ovation for Callahan. There's no way you can land on those right. There's no way you you can you spare yourself anything by landing on those. Know how to fall my ass. And we have a very split crowd here. Very vocal for Sammy, very vocal for Logan. There's no home team advantage. Everybody loves Logan Shulo here. However, Sammy Callahan certainly has a following. Everyone respects what he's able to do. Major Shulo and Callahan may have broken his own hand. The, wow. I have. Oh! Dude. That's the hardest part of the ring. That's wood boards and metal beams met at an angle. No give, only in Callahan's back. I was gonna say, Sammy Callahan's hand has to be killing him, but now his back probably has to be killing him too. Not a second time, a second time! And you saw the ring didn't move, but Callahan's body visibly bounced. Just a jarring effect off of that, the top of that steel beam that's underneath that ring skirting. Well, Logan Shulo is essentially saying, if you want both of these titles, Not you got to earn them. Oh my oh. God. He caught himself a little by catching that second rope, but he, he still ended up landing on the hard part of the ring. Oh. Well, Shulo is doing a great job at surviving a Sammy Callahan style matchup. Shulo prepared for five facade. Five minutes this contest, five minutes. Cover, two and no. And DeMarco, fair count thus far. I have my eye on DeMarco again because he's always been the center of controversy. You mentioned it, Farnsworth. He does what he feels is right, but sometimes what he feels is right isn't necessarily the general consensus. True, true. He's not looking for you to agree with him. He's looking to do what he thinks is best. I think Callahan just grabbed a handful of face of Shulo to try to break that hold. But... Oh. I was gonna say, yeah, we haven't, I don't know that we've seen this level of aggression out of Logan Shulo we against haven't. several of his, uh, uh, in a while, with his, especially with his title defenses. I think he understands what he's up against and is trying to fight fire with fire. And Logan, uh, to play off my, my further point from earlier, Logan knew there was a chance the match would change, but he didn't know for a fact till three days ago. That's not enough time to prepare for Callahan. He and what a hard impact that buckle was. He may have a general idea. I doubt he has much scouted. I doubt he has specific plans, specific targets. How do you scout a man that's out of his mind? Uh, bring a swamp monster. I mean, that... that whoa, 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 these two men are, are dangerously perched up there. Oh. Just a slap to the mush. Well, the landing here is going to be a lot worse than... Oh, oh, my God. Shulo with a death grip. He hangs on. And Shulo actually landed on Callahan. Callahan breaks Shulo's grasp that time right to Farnsworth, that knee and leg area. Yep. That's advantage Sammy right now. Sammy knows exactly what he's doing. DeMarco counting very, very slowly. He doesn't want to see a double count out, that's for sure. Do you think he's showing a certain level of, he's doing that because he knows how tired each of these have, each of these men have to be? Well, he just wants a clear cut winner. He has respect for the IWC championship, for the Super Indy title. Oh. I mean, if, if neither man wins, what's the future of the Super Indy Championship? It won't go with Callahan. He's not the defending champion. He just has a chance to win it. I guess it remains vacated. And Callahan just with a bullseye on that left knee. You bend that knee across the uh, the neck of Callahan to do some significant damage. And Sammy... Now look at this. 
Almost a uh, standing variation of an Indian Deathlock. A little bit of figure four thrown in there as well. And this puts Callahan, oh, he, he cinched in. He drove down and cinched in. And now with a full on Indian Deathlock on Shulo, but, but Shulo is in the ropes. Callahan taking full advantage. And, and, and DeMarco, in theory, should, could have disqualified Sammy Callahan there, but DeMarco a little hesitant. Well, he may have reached five, I'm not sure. That's grounds for disqualification. True, but again, I don't think Jimmy wants to see a disqualification. And I think maybe Sammy's realizing that and exploiting it. And I think Sammy just blew him a kiss. Kiss of death? This Sammy's a creepy guy. Nothing would, well, I'd put nothing past him. No sick, sadistic mind game. Not at all. Oh! The Inziguri kick connects. Speaking of mind games, there's one, kickball. Yeah, there's a kick right to the mind. Sammy measuring Logan. And now here's what I'm talking about. Whoa! Look at that speed. Huge impact. This lets his body bounce off the ropes. And he brings all of that mass in and then just leads with the foot. And he, Sammy's a man that has uh, extensively studied uh, weight positioning and leverage. He's lost 150 pounds in the early part of his career. When he hits you, he feels like a 300 pounder just hit you. He's an endomorphic individual. He, he's not Jeez tall, again. lanky, he, he is he's thick, squat, low center of gravity, and he knows how to use that weight. He, he's, for lack of a, the best comparison I can give is the other, a body type like that is like Arn Anderson. Third time, counter, oh! it's Kisleria. And Logan, got it, bro. And even if you are Arn Anderson tough, contest, 10 minutes. no man could stay standing after Logan Shulo's, what, 240, 250-pound lariat. He spun into it, giving it even more force. You saw Sammy Callahan go flipping through the air there. You don't normally see Sammy get tossed about that easily. And again, this crowd is torn. Shulo's up. Sammy is down. Yeah, that uh, Shulo needs to take advantage of it. Interrupts DeMarco's count. Sammy has barely stirred. Oh, wait a second. Sammy was playing possum. Sammy baited Shulo to an uncomfortable area and then pounced. Good kick to the head. Now he's climbing up after him. The superplex, Shulo once again for the second time. That Whoa. grip he has saved him. Oh no. Well, Sammy knows what's coming. That double stop off the tree of Woe, he's trying to fight it. Maliciously, animalistically, trying to claw his way to the... He has him by the beard. Oh my gosh. Oh! All the wind rushes out. Logan's a dual champion. Here is your winner, and now, not only IWC... No. The hand was on the rope. Man. A good eye by Jimmy DeMarco. I, did, I didn't see it, but... Oh, that's, well, that's why Jimmy Ladies DeMarco gentlemen. is up there. Jimmy DeMarco from, has uh, called off back the here. bell. This match will continue. It was difficult from our vantage point. I thought it was done. I thought Callahan was knocked out, but Callahan surprised us all. And Shulo, measuring Sammy, nobody home. And there's that knee being extended out again. Jeez. Oh! And Sammy, with that, that dragon screw, and now into a figure four. Look, hey, look with a heel hook? Yeah, look how tightly Callahan cinching in. You throw in the heel hook, that's eight different points of the anatomy. 
there is pressure applied to right now. Oh, there's the ropes. Well, Logan, his height coming into play. Not for that. And there you see Sammy milking that count for everything it's worth again. Four and a half. It's it's not illegal till five. And while well, after that close call, Sammy almost losing this matchup once. He's not gonna milk at the five anymore, I'll tell you that. Shulo going to the corner, pulling himself up. He's the first one up. But Sammy has a look in his eye. Measuring Shulo. Oh! And when Callahan can move, he's dangerous. Shulo those, with a boot. Oh! Those huge bursts of offense will run you over. And Callahan has it. No. My God, what a physical encounter. I can't recall the last time an IWC title match was this physical. This match started at 100 miles an hour and just kept accelerating. And DeMarco counting a bit more briskly now. I think DeMarco wants a decision. Oh! Just vicious slaps. The impact speaks volumes. Oh! And the pump kick. Full extension of the leg on that. And that only pissed Shulo off. Callahan up. Powerbomb, can he turn him? Oh! God damn it. Cover, no! The pet maneuver of Shulo could not get the job done. The death machine is not down. The death machine will not die. You see the frustration on Shulo's face. He has gone by in this contest He's 15 minutes. He is used to, to us not, he is used to not having to go beyond that. Well, Callahan is almost dead weight at this point. I'm not sure how, maybe that kick out was all he had left in him. Now he's trying to pick him up. There's no... Maybe Sammy, going for another power bomb. you think? Sammy doesn't have legs under him. Oh! It was another ruse! Oh, what power! What hang time! And Callahan... Gonna drill Shiro with a power bomb! We got it! No! No! And he transitions into the stretch muffler. If Shulo taps... Sammy's a dual champion. He's kicking him in the back of the head. If Logan passes out from those kicks, he Sammy's a dual champion. He's got his knees underneath him. All he needs to do is get up. Apply a little more pressure. Wrench it back. Oh! And Logan for the third time. The ropes save him here. And now back in the center. No, Logan rolls through. Chops the body now. Oh, Logan, that expert leg strength. Almost got the job done. Dodges the kick. Try to elevate it again. Callahan fighting. Can he get him? Power bomb. No, Callahan rolls through. Callahan. My God, half a count away again. What a war we are seeing. Callahan staying on top of him. Well, we know what that signifies. What, so Shulo counters. Shulo in the air. A tombstone. A tombstone. That's it. Good night, Callahan. Here is your winner. And now, both the Super Indie and IWC World Heavyweight Champion, the Heavy Metal Jesus. Logan Shulo! And there's nobody that can say that Logan Shulo did not earn every damn bit of that victory. I agree completely. You want to talk about a test of Hey guys, get up off your feet and give these guys a round of applause. These two competitors, that was phenomenal. Not a chance to breathe, not a chance to catch his breath. He stepped into that ring and started a marathon. And Logan Shulo came out the winner.
impressive victory. We have seen such a war. And there is the prize. For I believe the first time ever, both IWC single titles are in possession of one man. And what a man he is, Farnsworth. All man and a yard wide, as the cliche goes. Oh, whoa, we got company. We don't see it on screen yet, but that's Team Big League, that's Brooks. Nutter is out here as well, and there you see Big League John McChesney defeated by Tommy Dreamer earlier tonight. Hey, you know, when he left, Chuck Roberts put me in charge. I see three of you guys out there. And I see three of us in the ring. What? Are you kidding me? What? How about a little Christmas bonus match? Jimmy. What do you guys think? Hey! What? Norm went with a low blow to Marco with a Tommy Dreamer was right! The following contest made by me is for the IWC Heavyweight Championship with your special guest referee, Jimmy DeMarco. Logan Shula defends against John McChesney right now. What? That's not right. Damn it. Oh, Shula kicked out. Oh my God. I'm, I am floored. I am speechless. Never trust a promoter. Oh, oh kick. What in the, how long has this been brewing? We have a new Here champion. is your winner and new IWC Heavyweight Champion, Big League, John McChesney. Where the hell did this come from? Cut that music, cut that music. Thinking. And I got one other thing to say. Three years ago, when I retired, 